this is uh, the workforce at uh, Sudbury's in East Biddeford in the 1950s and with my great aunt who is there. Um, she was a forewoman of all the work force there. Uh, so uh, uh, she had a fair old task on her. <laughs> There's Aunt Mary with some of the workers in her office workroom. With all the all the gloves, samples of gloves and pieces of gloves up on the shelving. They got one there in the, about the 1920s, 30s as well. Yeah, that there is me. Uh, my brother Dick, and uh, my brother Roy, and there's Aunt Mary. Every year they did a outing, a coach trip to somewhere, and everybody went. So there were several coaches going at the same time. And uh, I remember going to Sidmouth once. And you know, we used to go to the, from the seaside to the seaside. <laughs> but uh, they, they did several trips every year. And I remember the smell going up the stairs. It was a mixture of cotton, silk, leather, wool, machine oil, dust. It hit you as you went up the stairs. I still remember the smell. It was lovely. And it was the whir as well when you went in. It wasn't a deafening noise um, of all the, I mean, you had so many machines in there, but it wasn't a deafening noise when you went in. I suppose it was so crowded in there, it just killed the noise. You just heard a, heard a gentle whir of all the machines going, and the, and the girls were chatting away. But that's about all that um, I can remember of that. It was, uh, and I, everybody knew everybody. And even now, I walk around town and I see people, oh, you used to work for Sudbury's, or oh, you used to work for Sudbury's, or oh, you used to. Uh, you still remember people. Um, I know it just, they just all of a sudden closed. It was because uh, gloves went out of fashion. Because every, I mean, in the in their days, everybody wore gloves. Uh, no matter what you were, you always had a pair of gloves. And then all of a sudden, uh, people it just went out of fashion to wear gloves. So. The industry just faded away. Mm -hmm.